What is going on people? Triple M back again with another video and today we've got to talk about a very awkward and controversial subject and that is the dropping of Mason Greenwood's charges. Honestly, it's not really something you want to be talking about right now as a Manchester United fan because on the pitch everything is going as well as it possibly could under Ericsson Hag. We're in a cup final, we're playing a decent brand of football, a lot of players that we thought you know would be sold this season are actually playing quite well and now we've been dropped at this absolute bombshell. Now if you don't no, then you're probably living under a rock and I would suggest that you go out more but no seriously Mason Greenwood's charges have been dropped and uh, this is something that has been going on for a very long time I'd almost even forgotten that Mason Greenwood formerly played for Manchester United that's how long this has been dragging on but he may or may not potentially be back Manchester United have released a statement basically saying that they will not be making any further comments and they will conduct their own internal process to deal with this very sensitive situation and what that essentially means is to me the way I interpret it is they're exploring their options they're exploring their legal options they're exploring their options in terms of their brand and they'll probably be going through the list of scenarios so if they decide to keep Mason Greenwood what does this mean for Manchester United and its brand and the social media following and and, and how people perceive it if they decide to get rid of him and terminate his contract despite him not being found guilty due to the charges being dropped what does this mean and what does this do for the brand and Manchester United will probably make a decision that it is more business orientated and is more brand orientated than anything which really you can't really blame them for at the end of the day there is a victim in all of this and there obviously is a lot of sensitive opinions I think in society when the pendulum swings too far one way people have a natural propensity to take that pendulum and swing it completely the other way to try to correct it when in, the, when in reality the pendulum should be somewhere in the middle right your opinion should be balanced you should have the ability to say even though I'm on this side of the pendulum or even though I'm on this side of the pendulum I can see both sides and I can sit in the middle and say you know what let's respect each other's opinions and I think that's the approach Manchester United fans need to take over here now for me personally I've seen, you know, the well, I've heard the voice notes and I've obviously seen the photos. So for me, there's more than enough evidence to say, you know what, maybe this isn't best for the brand. I think it's best for both parties that they part ways, that being Mason Greenwood and the club, simply because this is something that's going to hang over his head for a very, very long time. Other people will disagree. Other people will say that, listen, man, he deserves a second chance, maybe. He deserves to get sent to a rehabilitation facility of some sorts to get some training. Um, I'm, I'm not in that camp, but if you have that opinion, I do respect it either way. Um, nevertheless, I'm not going to drag this out any longer than it needs to be. Uh, I just thought I'd make a very short comment because I'm obviously a Manchester United fan and, you know, this can't be ignored. I was going to make a video about the Nottingham Forest game and talk about the tactics, talk about Sancho playing in the number 10, talking about the return of Martial, but... It is what it is, you know, sometimes you, you just you just get dropped at the bombshell and you kind of got to address it.